for most of us, the majority of our swimming is in the swimming pool, pushing off the wall every length. So swimming around a buoy in the triathlon can feel a little alien unless we practice regularly. On race day, it can get a little hectic as all the swimmers are scrabbling to get around the buoy in the shortest and fastest line. Now, this can sound a little off-putting, but don't worry, we're here to help. We're going to guide you on the best way to swim around a buoy with confidence. Firstly, make sure you sight on your approach and that you're heading on the most direct line to the buoy. As you get closer, start heading for the side of the buoy that you need to round, rather than directly at the buoy. You should approach the buoy as close as you can without catching your arms. If you have other swimmers around you, avoid cutting them up or swimming into them. Getting your legs knocked down or your arms tangled with another swimmer can really slow you down and waste valuable energy. You should actually maintain or increase your arm rate as you enter the turn. A common mistake is to slow your stroke down or glide in, but really you just want to get past it and find your rhythm again on the other side. Also, try to keep your head down as you round the buoy, as lifting it will only slow you down and cause your legs to drop, acting a little like a break. You can even use your head to direct you around the buoy a little bit quicker, so keep your head in the water as much as possible at this moment. Keep kicking your legs around the buoy to avoid your feet being swum over. Once your legs get pushed down, it's really hard to bring them back up again. A little splash will deter most people from messing with you. As soon as you've rounded the buoy, start sighting for the next one to find the shortest line. Leave it too late and you could be heading in the wrong direction. Without a black line to follow on the bottom of a pool, it's amazing how far off course you can go in a short time. So make sure you return back to the regular sighting pattern as quickly as possible. So we've given you some good tips on how to round a buoy tight and quickly. But obviously if this is all new to you and you don't have that level of confidence yet, you can always go around a little bit wider and stay out of trouble. And if you're looking for more pointers like these, remember you can subscribe to GTN by clicking on the globe. Or if you want to watch a video on open water sighting, click here. And to see a video on open water exit, just click up here.